Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be discussing the optimized versus the non-optimized option within our filled surface feature. The fill feature has a checkbox for an optimized surface. If you look at the two images down here, the left hand side is an optimized surface and the right hand side is a non-optimized surface. Let's take a look how this works. In this case, I have an imported surface. I'm going to quickly jump into my Surfaces tab, go to my Fill Surface tool, and start selecting all these edges. In order to save some time, I can right-click on the first edge and select an open loop. And what that does is it creates, uh, it selects all the different edges. And like you, as you can see, in my selections, I have seven different edges selected. Also, I've turned on my Mesh Preview uh, from our curvature display in the bottom tab. And just to see how the surface sort of works. I can also go one step forward and apply uh, an edge setting to all the different edges that we have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a tangent edge to all the different uh, edges that we have selected. So now if you notice that mesh preview gives me a better idea of how the splines are working as this surface blends in with this surface. Now the optimize surface tool uh, option is right here with this checkbox. So if I have it checked on, that means this is an optimized surface. And if I have it checked off, this is a non-optimized surface. Now they call this an optimized surface and non-optimized surface purely based on the rebuild time. It's not like the surface has some smartness to it, but uh, the optimized surface is actually uh, building a lot faster than your non-optimized surface. So uh, we know how this is, Chris. So I'm going to uh, uncheck this optimized surface tool because I want to show you what it's doing in the background. Uh, and I'm going to green check to my fill surface feature. Now you notice it's created this nice little surface. If I select this uh, surface fill and I go to my untrimmed surface tool, I'll click on that and you notice what it does. Basically what that feature, the non-optimized version is doing, it's uh, extending the surfaces and basically trimming the excess, excess off. And that's how we get this shape. So again, the two options that we see are the non-optimized and the optimized. And if I edit that sur uh, surface fill feature, I see that option right here. So again, if I check it on, it's the optimized version. And if I don't check it on, it's the non-optimized version. So I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.